and we're back to learning Premiere Pro and this time I'm going to show you how to create a picture and picture effect. We'll start with this simple clip. So this is going to be the main footage that I want to fill the entire screen with. And now I'll just drag the second footage on top on video channel 2 in this case. We don't need the audio file so let me hold all, click on it and I delete it. So video channel 1 is still our motorbike. And video channel 2 is now this map. Just activate it and then go to the effect controls, scaling. If you can't find that, go to window and click on effect controls. And we'll scale it down. In this case, or well, maybe let me go to 40. That's a good value for this one. You may have to use a different value depending on the size of the original footage. And now you can just double click on it to activate it and then drag it around in the preview screen. The position is adjusted. Or you can use the effect controls position, click and drag to left and right to reposition that. And this is basically it for the main effect. Let me roll the clip. So this is our main footage and here on video channel 2 we've got the picture in picture effect. You may want to use a frame for it, so let me show you how this can be quickly done. Just type in grid into your effects and drag and drop it on video channel 2, so on the file there, which is going to be our picture in picture in the top right. If you can't find the effects, go to window and click on effects. And here's the grid. Set this drop down to width and height sliders and set the anchors to zero each. Now for width and height, just use the size of a sequence. In this case, it's 90, 20 times 1080. So it's a typical size for YouTube videos. And now you can see that we only have a grid basically with one cell. And with the border, we can make it thicker or thinner. Let me just use 50. Set the blending mode from none to normal. And now we can see our second video again. And it has a border now. You can use a different color for the border if you want to. Just click on a color swatch or use the eyedropper tool next to it to sample a color directly from your preview window. And this is how you can create this easy picture-in-picture -picture effect in Premiere Pro. I hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.